It won't go away. I was thinking of jumping up on this and seeing if I could jump to that. Perhaps. Okay, that guy's gone. Because I don't want to just run by him. I mean, I guess I could. Is there anything else in here? Screw it, let's try it. Okay, he was fine with that. Okay! <laughs> Phew! Alright. So I've got two armor plates. Where's Josh? Regular guard. Lost in the library, a survivor's tale for bibliophiles. <sighs> that wasn't it. Did it. I'll take the carrot. Are you Josh? Hey, wait a minute. Don't walk by. Try the best fish in town. This is your lucky day, because I have one perfect piscine offer for you. You do. Buy one fish and get a second fish completely free. Two fish for the price of one. Sounds like a good deal. You're pretty talky for someone who sells fish. Well, I figure the longer I keep someone talking, the more chance they have of buying some fish. I never should have bought this lousy fishmongers. I was with this wench. She said she liked fish, and then... Oh, before you know it, I've bought this thing. I mean, I don't know my herring from my halibut. And with the storms, there aren't even many fish being caught. Interesting. Why don't you sell the store then? Do you want it? Why would I want a fish store? See? That's what I should have said to myself. But that wench was so very beautiful. Hmm. Is there anything I could do to help? Well, you could find someone who wants to buy this store. Ideally, someone who knows about fish. Okay. How much do you want to sell your stall for? Hmm. Well, including all the goods, let's say 300 gold pieces. I'll find you a buyer for your stall. Wonderful! Might be handy if you look for someone who is drunk, or crazy, or loves fish. I'll keep that in mind. I have faith in you, my friend. Here, have a shark steak on the house. Well, thank you. That was quite nice of you. What sort of fish do you have? Everything the sea can provide. Herring just caught, and place so fresh it doesn't even know it's dead yet. Is that all? No. I also have shark. A nice shark steak will revive the weariest spirit. And you look like you could do with that. Hmm. Where do you think I can find a buyer? If I knew, I'd have asked them myself. Maybe the harbour? The tavern? You could ask the fishermen. At least they'd know about fish. Show me your fish. You actually want to buy some? Well, don't forget, it's two for one. Hmm. I hear there's a fur shop for sale. Would you be interested? Fur shop? I'm not buying another stall. 
I'll be happy if I never sell another thing. Know any hermits? I think I'd make a good one of those. Well, I'll go looking around. Let me go see if... What's his face over here actually wants to buy your place? Durnham? Actually, let me finish this other quest first. I don't want to be all like, I got your armor! Because my dude has a tendency of doing that. Cocky bastard. You need to watch your tongue, bro. Hold on. What's this? We'll grab hold. Or not, whatever. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Hop up this. Not exactly. I'll just do that. It's easier. Sorry, where is Josh at? Oh, he's in this building. This is it? Yeah. This lock is too difficult. Well, that's not what I wanted. Hello. Hey, they call me Sid. I hope you're not some faceless minion of the Order. What do you know about the Order? The Order locks us in the town like cattle and drags men off to the monastery. Take Rodriguez, a good man, reliable. And now, they did something to his mind up at the monastery. They got to him. Now he's just a tool of the Inquisitor. It's evil. Stirring people's brains round like that. What was Rodriguez before? He was a decent, honest thief. Salt of the earth. They caught him outside looting. Took him off and changed him. Poor fool guards the slaughterhouse by the harbour for the order now. Do you need help? It's Rodriguez. He's out to get me. He's part of the order. You're on my side, so do me a favour. Find out what he's planning and tell me. Okay. What do you want? I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Hello, Anthem. Haven't seen you around here before. I'm new. How did you manage to get into Harbor Town? Not much goes in or out these days. Well, not in town anyway. I looked for a way, and I found one. A resourceful, eh? I like that in a man. Glad to hear it. So, what do you do around here? I'm Sid's better half. He's one of the Don's men. Is he now? Now, don't go thinking he's any old ruffian. My Sid is smart, strong, and he knows what a girl wants. Which is? Well, a little material appreciation, of course. Why, what were you thinking? My Sid knows. Why, just the other day, my Siddy gave me a beautiful ring. It was fit for the Inquisitor, it was. Hmm. Can I see the ring Sid gave you? Nah! You might chop off my hand to get to it. I know your sort. 
Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know, handsome? Sid, he's a decent man. Can't look after himself, mine, but what man can? I cook and I clean for him and keep him happy. He's not much of a talker, but who needs talk with his abilities? Got real stamina, my city, and he brings me lots of presents. Go on. I mean, you can see I'm a lady who likes the finer things in life. A town girl has a duty to look good. Not like those peasants who've come into town. No style, no class. I can see you're a woman of great taste. You know what I mean. I can see you're a man that appreciates the finer things in life. Most men around here just care where their next beer is coming from or how fast your dress hits the floor. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I just stole her favorite ring. And I don't even care. It's an amulet. Max life energy plus 20. I didn't even know I had that. Acrobatics plus 1. This is all going on my character screen, right? Yes. Okay. Still need some kind of armor. Okay. So many people. Where's Josh's place? Is this... Wow, you look really friendly, Cutter. Super friendly. Especially with a name like Cutter. Alright, is this his house? Yep. Yeah. You must be Josh. You are. Hey, new in town. Gold burning a hole in your pocket? In the market for a valuable artifact? Yeah, of course you are. And lucky you ran into me, because I got the very thing. Really? Who are you? Name's Dirk. I'm an acquirer of rare and valuable items. A treasure seeker, just like my brothers. Runs in the family, you could say. So you don't work alone? Alf, Dider, and little old me. Triplets. Triplets? Thanks for the warning. So you and your brothers are traveling separately? Easier to find work that way. Although I've not seen Dider for days. I heard rumors Alf was being held prisoner in the merchant's district. No idea if that's true. You don't seem too bothered. Well, if it is true, he can handle himself. Toughest of the three of us he is. Hmm. I'll see if I can help Ulf. He can handle himself. But if you're going that direction, then I suppose it couldn't hurt. So you trade artifacts then? Not much getting in and out of Harbor Town. People gotta make a living any way they can. Most of those ways. Well, you wouldn't write home to your ma about him. I'll self looking for work until things pick up. I just want to get back to the ruins again. Good place for treasure seekers. I bet. What sort of artifact are you selling? Some kind of large golden bowl. You need something golden bowl shaped? This'll be perfect. And it's yours for just 150 gold. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Careful who you show it to. The Inquisition and the Dawns boys would love to get this. But I didn't trust them not to bash me over the head as soon as they got their paws on it. Large gold bowl, one of three. Interesting. A customer! Welcome! What can I get you? What's the worst sort of customer you get in here? Hey, I love them all! But the ones that just come to fight I could do without. Yeah, of course.
I'm Delgado's replacement. Oh, that's good. Have a beer on the house. No, I'll pass on that. Well, I'm gonna have one. Mmm, I needed that. So, why are you here? I wanted to get the gold. The gold you gave Delgado. Oh, so that's it. What's it? If you really want it, uh, of course you'll get your gold. A hundred gold coins, as always... Sounds like there's a but coming. Of course, you wouldn't know, but Delgado and I had an agreement. Go on. Well, I've paid my debts in kind, so to speak. What do you mean? I kept my ears open and told Delgado where there were things to be had. In return, I didn't have to pay. He also got free drinks, of course. Hmm. I'm not interested in your agreement. You want the gold. I don't have a choice then. Outrageous blind robbery. Here, a hundred gold pieces. Thank you. Better start again. Oh, that was my last lockpick. Oh, really? Lame. All right. There's a face I don't recognize. Don't go wandering outside the gutters if you want to stay safe. You're a town guard. Damn right, so that means around here, the law is what I say it is. Stay in the gutters and stay out of trouble. Why are there only a few guards about? We are the town's first line of defense. So we were the first people sent to those ruins when they sprang up. Most didn't come back. Or if they did, they were in bad shape. That was before Mendoza and his Inquisition turned up. Now it's his men that go into those ruins. And let me tell you, that's fine by me. Can you train me? Sure. I could do with a bit of amusement. It'll cost you, though. I want to improve my fighting skills. Sword 3. Hmm, I haven't leveled up enough for that. I'll hold off. Okay, thanks, man. He didn't seem to care about me coming in here. Interesting. Hey. What do you want? I haven't done anything. That's quite a guilty conscience. No. I just... I thought, um... Thought what? That you were one of the people who doesn't want us outsiders here. They say we're thieves, but we aren't. The Don's rabble are the thieves. So, are there thieves in the town? Oh, yes. They take everything that's not nailed down. They cleaned out all the skins in Flavio's storehouse. And the worst thing is that the rebels get away with it. No, I hate it here. I can't wait to get out. Where are you from? All over. I'm a hunter, or was before the Order locked me up here in this town. You don't sound terribly happy. Of course. If they're going to lock everyone up here, they should look after us. Instead, they treat us like criminals. But the Order just leaves us here, leaves us to our fate. Do you know any good jokes? You think now's the time for jokes? Maybe. Most people could do with cheering up. You hear the one about the Geiger and the treasure seeker? Yeah, sorry. I've heard that one. May the holy flame light your way, stranger. Are you looking for a spot of warm fire? Or some stew to salve your hunger? You're a mage. I am that. I am Master Belshaw, 
a guardian of the holy flame ordained into the convocation of mages. Hmm. What is the holy flame? In the monastery at the foot of the volcano, there's a holy place. It's one of the last true treasures of this world. The Hall of the Holy Flame. It's the source of our power, a well of magic. We must do all we can to protect it from the looming danger. What is it you do in the town? I help those who are unable to help themselves. For now, that means providing food, shelter, other necessities. Why don't you help me? What can I do for you? Help me to care for the people. There are those who are sick and injured. They are in need of healing potions. I can distribute those healing potions for you. Good, good. Thank you. I have seven potions prepared. I will give you a list with the names of the needy here in the gutters. Consider the remaining potions payment for your work. Cool. What can you do with magic? It has many uses. There are spells which harm and spells which heal, and those that light your path in the darkness. With no study at all, you could cast from a scroll. Those scrolls can be used but once. Whereas an artifact with magic bound into it can last an age. But to create such items, or use magic without the need of them, for that you must become a mage. I could use some stew. Here, may it grant you strength. Oh, I just ate it, thank you. Well, okay then, whatever. Now who's on this list? Oh, medicine for everyone. Arno, two, three, four, five, okay. So then I would get two. That's fine with me. Let's see if we can find this coal gentleman right up here. Hugh. Coal. Hold on. Can I steal from your treasure chest? This lock is too difficult. No. After somewhere peaceful. I'm coal, by the way. Is this a place of prayer? This is the Shrine of the Holy Flame, a place of calm in a violent, lawless world. And you're here to pray? Yes. I pray that this will all be over and I can go back to being a hunter. Here is a healing potion for you, with greetings from Belshaw. Ah, thank you. The Order does try to provide for us. It's sometimes easy to forget that. Tell me about the flame. I'm a hunter. I don't know much about holy things. Just tell me what you know. It's... The flame protects us. All of us. Understand? It protects the whole island. It's where the mages get their magic. They say while it burns, there is hope. That the storms don't come to this island because of it. Whatever it is, the flame protects us. You're a hunter? I am. Well, I was. What happened? Since the temples rose, no one's allowed outside the town because of the creatures. I was lucky the Inquisition didn't take me to the monastery. And what happened to your boat? I pawned it to Costa. Fed me for a week. And to think I could provide for the whole town with it once. Now not even Flavio has work for me. All I have left is Master Belshaw's stew. Hmm. Can you teach me anything about hunting? I could, but if you're thinking of going on an expedition, there's nothing here in the town to hunt. Could you teach me archery? That I can show you. Can you teach me about hunting? Archery and dexterity, no thanks. You look like you're from the monastery. Yes, I am novice Yu. I assist Master Belshaw. What exactly happens up there at the monastery? Normally the monastery is a place of peace and knowledge. But now the Inquisition has taken up residence, it has become a place to train recruits. How do they decide if someone becomes a recruit or a novice? Most take the path of the recruit. They are trained to become a warrior of the Order. 
This requires them to learn the high art of star fighting and the basic principles of magic. To tread the path of magic, you must prove yourself to the order. Then you may be given the choice to become a novice. As a novice, you learn star fighting, but only enough to defend oneself. After that, you focus on real study, the art of the mage. If you wish to become a novice, then you should spend time with Master Belshaw. Hmm. How did you become a novice? I volunteered. Master Belshaw said I have what it takes and gave me his blessing. After I convinced Commandant Carlos of my worth, I was allowed to go to the monastery to begin training. One day, I will be a powerful mage, a master of the order. Master Belshaw wants me to hand out some healing potions. The people here need help. There are many sick and injured. What do you make of the Inquisitor? He may be disliked by some, but he is the only one who can help us in these times. He will avert the threat of the Risen Temples and restore order. While he performs his tasks up in the monastery, he is reliant on us, upon his representative, Commandant Carlos, to maintain control here. Hmm. Tell me more about Commandant Carlos. He is a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. He spends most of his time in the guardhouse, but his warriors are ever vigilant, maintaining peace in the town, which cannot be said of the old town guard. What's wrong with the old town guard? In the days before the Inquisitor arrived, they were responsible for keeping order on the streets. Don Esteban had them under his thumb. They did what they pleased here. They would do anything for gold and pleasure, and still would if given the chance. But now the order is in charge here. Alas, I fear some of them care too little for the people. But how do I find the people who need healing? Belchor gave you a list of those to be treated, didn't he? Yes. Those people will be here in the gutters. Most live on the street. But don't forget Josh. He's a small tavern over there down the stairs. People call that part of Harbour Town a hole. It's easy to miss. Right. Thanks. Why are you so fond of the Inquisition? These are dark days. And in such times, we must look to unlikely sources to aid us. Inquisitor Mendoza is our greatest hope. Thanks, Hugh. Mint. Excellent. I will take said mint and depart. <laughs> Stole your mint. Who else am I supposed to give this to? Looks like Finn is one of them. Finn, Josh, and Cole. I already did Cole, so Finn and Josh. Hey. Hello, I'm Finn. You don't happen to have any work to offer? No, I don't. Drat. I've combed every corner of this place. This town is a mess. There are so many people here now, and they all want jobs. Even Flavio can't give me work. I have a healing potion for you, from Master Belshaw. Thank you. I can use this. What sort of work do you do? Anything. Anything. What can you tell me about Flavio? People say Belshaw is the only man doing something for the farmers. But Flavio has given work to lots of people. Has. But that's changed. Yeah, the warehouse is empty, and he had to get rid of most of us. Do you want to buy a fish stall? No thanks, I'm a farmer. What I know about fish, you could write on the side of a sprat. Someone in the harbour might be interested though. I'll go check, thanks. Excuse me, Josh. I have a healing potion for you from Master Belshaw. Thank you! Thief! No, it's getting Rah. good. Rah. Smack ah. him hard! Let's get after ah. him! Ah. I think you know what happens next. And a few coins for me. Great. How much did you take? Oh my god! Oh. It was on the floor, Josh. Damn. 
bro. Come on. You gotta be a dick. Oh well. Alright. Elias or Elias and Arno. At least he didn't take any of my stuff. That would have sucked even worse. Wait, where's Elias? Okay. Please, take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. I'm supposed to give you this healing potion from Master Belshaw. Ah, thank you. Refugees stick together, eh? That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer. Was. Till the ruins came. Lost my farm. You look like another refugee. Word to the wise. Stay away from Costa. Costa? Who's Costa? He's a swindler. After everything people have lost, he's trying to take the rest. He forces people to sell their goods for less than they're worth, then resells them. Help another refugee, will you? Have a look at my goods, not the stuff he's pushing. Okay, I'll do that.